What is going on you guys? It is Mr. Game of Squatch here. Welcome back to the Squatch Den. And we have a pretty neat unboxing, if you ask me, honestly. Um, because it's not really something that I've had, nor that I even really knew it existed, because I'm kind of just starting to dip my toes into, like, Famicom and Super Famicom uh, games and stuff, because, as you probably saw in one of my previous videos, I got myself a Hyperkin Superboy, which plays both Super Nintendo and Super Famicom games. And so, you know, I'm, I'm liking it so far, if anybody remembers from that, uh, yeah, I'm liking it so far because I like being able to take my Super Nintendo games on the go, and I had also scooped up myself a copy of the original Mario Kart for the Super Famicom and Super, Super Nintendo, but this one's the Famicom one. And so I figured from then, why not try and find other Mario games, because it's not really like you need to understand fully what they're saying, not like an RPG or something, you know, where you have to read and know what you're reading. Uh, so, without any delay, I think we should get into the unboxing of this pretty amazing and very well-looking uh, Super Mario Brothers collection, as they call it, uh, for this set. Uh, because I think in America it was called Super Mario All-Stars, which I also have right here. They call it Super Mario All-Stars. But in Japan, I believe they called this Super Mario Brothers Collection. And as you can see, it's the first, second, third, and USA, which is, I believe, uh, which one was this? I believe they just called this one Super Mario Brothers. No. Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario 2, Super Mario 3, and the Lost Levels. So, no, yeah, the Super Mario USA is technically... Uh, Super Mario 2 for Americans, but in Japan they called it Super Mario USA because like you see here, this one has the original Mario, Super Mario 2, which in America was Lost Levels, and then Super Mario 3, and then this is Super Mario USA, but for us it was Super Mario 2. So, without further ado, let's get on into this. I'm pretty excited for this because when I saw this on eBay, it was relatively cheap. I mean, most Famicom games are actually pretty cheap, but considering this one is pretty much like, you know, it is All-Stars, uh, I would have kind of expected this to be a little bit more expensive, especially being how well conditioned this is with both the full manual. I know it's not easy to, to see. Let me try and back the camera up a little bit here. Hey, like my like my Spicoli's down there. We got the full size manual, and it's not in too bad of condition. Oh, I'm starting to notice the tape up there. Yeah. Okay. The manual is not exactly in the best condition from what we can see here, so I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk opening that up any more than uh than I already have, because I don't want to damage it any more than it already is. But, as we move back on in, move you guys back up here. Alright, uh, we are back to the actual insert with the actual cartridge still in its original plastic, amazingly. And it looks like we have a little warning, I guess, to insert your AC adapter from what it see, seems. Anybody with Google Translate, uh, that would be amazing if you could tell me what all that says. Uh, but otherwise, like I said, here is the original cartridge, which looks pretty amazing. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That is almost brand spanking new. If I didn't know any better, I would say this was a reproduction cartridge. But I don't think it is. Because it's still got Nintendo right there. You got the back here with Super Famicom cassette. So I think it looks pretty good. Uh, if we wanted to be super, super sure, I have a game bit screwdriver right here to open this bad boy up. 
to test it. Ooh, that little crack right there, that's that's a good sign right there because that means we're breaking the factory seal. Oh man, that's usually a good sign also. But uh, that's another perfect little crack right there. Could be a good sign, could also not be, I don't really know. But let's see here, what do we got? Yeah, looking looking pretty good. Oh yeah, this is definitely original. There's no black blobs. We got actual chips here. We got a nice battery. A Maxell battery. Looks like 2032 maybe. Yep, got a we got the Nintendo logo right there. 1993. And looking at the contacts and all Okay, there's a little bit of grime down there. That felt like a little bit of grease. That's a little bit weird. Probably, probably, probably normal. I'm not 100% sure. I got a little IPA. Let me try and clean that off a little bit here, just to be safe. It's probably nothing, honestly. It's probably nothing. Just years of sitting here. Maybe sitting in storage or something there. Because I had bought this off of a seller on eBay. I don't really remember his name, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, this whole thing's got a little bit of a kind of greasy feel to it. It's kind of weird. I'll go back over this whole thing with some IPA later on. Um, but yeah, I had bought this and it came straight from Osaka, Japan which I think is pretty neat. So, all right, we'll put this back in the way it was. So it's not even like, you know, it's just some seller in America that just happened to, you know, still either bought this and didn't want it anymore or whatever. No, this is coming straight from the country of origin, Japan. A Super Famicom game coming straight from Japan. I mean, come on, how how much more authentic do you want us, you know? That's, that's pretty cool. I'm honestly excited to have this. Even though I don't I don't entirely need it, I guess, because of having uh, you know, Super Mario All-Stars, so I can under, I can see it in English and read English and all that, but you know, I don't don't need it. Since, like I said, you pretty much understand everything anyway. It's just choose which world you need and all. Try to get that back in there. Okay. Alright, I think we're ready to pop this bad boy in to my Superboy. And try this out. So... I have my trusty Superboy right here. Let's get let's get it in there. Okay. Moment of truth. This is awesome. This is awesome already. I'm loving this. Let me try and let me try and lower the camera a little bit. That's really cool. Oh, look at that. So, already, we got the first Super Mario right there. Let me try and zoom in a little bit. Okay. So we got the first Super Mario with brand new level. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, look at that. It's even got the multicolored buttons as the Famicom layout, which is amazing, because it's it's a Famicom game, so, alright, and then we got Super Mario 2, which is supposed to be the Lost Levels for America, Super Mario USA, which, like I said, is technically our Super Mario 2, but it's, you know, who is to say, and then Super Mario 3, which is pretty cool, so, 
Before I do any gameplay of that, I want to try and do a side-by-side -side comparison of that versus All-Stars so that you guys can see the difference between a Famicom cart and a Super Nintendo cart. I can already kind of hear a difference in the voices that are kind of over top of each other. Same music though, and then of course this one says All Stars, and then it gives a little sheen over the text. But already you can see the difference between having the American Mario Brothers, or Super Mario Brothers for number one, and then Super Mario The Lost Levels, which, like you said, it's still got the original Japanese cover, but that's the Lost Levels for us, Super Mario 2 for Japan. And then our Super Mario 2, Mario Madness, which for them is apparently uh, Super Mario USA. It's very different, and then Super Mario 3. Same music as well, as, but, and then like say if we wanted to start this, then look at that. You got the Super Nintendo layout, which is the two, the light purple and the dark purple. Oh, I didn't really want to... Well, you know what? This is a good a good side-by-side, -side then. No, it's not. Let's, let's reset that. Let's try and start from level one for Super Mario. Um, how do we delete a file? Oh, hold up. Okay. Ah, okay, cool. And I already died. But that's fine. So that's Super Mario 1 for the Super, uh, Super Mario All-Stars for the Super Nintendo. Now we put in the Super Mario Collection for the Famicom, and we'll start on World 1 for the, super, for the regular Mario. And still in English text as well, which I'm not 100% sure... I was going to turn that down. I don't know if that's because this is American, like, I don't know if the Superboy is translating it into English, or if it's just how it is. I don't actually have a Super Famicom to be able to test this. This is the only way I'm ever going to play a Super Famicom game. So otherwise, it's still the same graphics. Pretty much same everything. So, yeah, I mean... It pretty much, if you wanted to just go the cheaper route uh, of playing, you know, the classic games and stuff, then, yeah, try and either get yourself a Super Famicom, or, actually, now that, I, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, my friend, the King of Games 98, had actually helped me mod my Super Nintendo to play Super Famicom games, and if you're wondering, well, how the hell do I do that? Uh, it's actually really simple because there's a couple of uh, plastic tabs on the inside of the cartridge reader that kind of block Super Famicom uh, cartridges from being put into a Super Nintendo. So once you kind of pull those tabs off or break those tabs off, then you can play Super Famicom games. Oh, damn it. There we go. Yeah, so you can play Super Famicom games. You know what? Maybe one day I'll set it up and see if there's any difference. Uh, I honestly don't think there is. I think this is just playing it as is because I don't think I don't think these translate. No, you know what? I don't think I don't think they do. I'm gonna grab my Super Mario Kart real quick. Sorry guys. Sorry about that. We're gonna try my Super Mario Kart cartridge to show that I don't think, I think that's just how the cartridge is. It's not 
that it's translated or any, anything. Well, as you saw in the main menu there, actually, it was uh, in Japanese. So, yeah. Now we have the original Super Mario Kart. Yeah, so it's still in Japanese. So everything is still in Japanese when you're playing on the Superboy, but, you know, like I said, most Mario games, you really don't need to understand what's saying, what it's saying, unless you get, like, the DS game where, you know, you have to read the menus and stuff, or even save menus and stuff, but once you kind of know it goes, you know, continue, save and continue, save and exit, then, uh, you pretty much are set. So, I think that'll pretty much wrap it up for this uh, video today. Um, like I said, I am actually very happy that I got this because of just the fact that the cartridge looks beautiful, the box, hold on, the box looks beautiful, and it still has the original inserts and manual, even though, yeah, the manual is not exactly great, uh, but you know what, I can't read Japanese anyway, I'm not afraid to admit it, um, Call me an ignorant American if you want. <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, so I'm just going to leave that as is. I don't want nothing else to happen to it. But, all in all, I am very happy that I got this. And I hope you found this kind of enjoyable. Maybe a little bit informative of, um, you know, seeing the difference between All-Stars and Collections. And now you may know the difference when somebody says, Oh, do you have Super Mario All-Stars or do you have Super Mario Collections? you'll know the difference. It's it's the same thing. It's like, oh, which is your favorite character, Goku or Kakarot? <clears throat> it's the same thing. One's just, <laughs> one's just Japanese and one's not. Um, well, technically Goku and Kakarot are the same name because Goku was when he was on Earth and Kakarot's from Planet Vegeta, but you get, what a, <laughs> you get the reference I'm trying to make. So... Uh, with that, this wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment on what you think about whether you would try and get Super Mario Collections or if you would get Super Mario All-Stars. Um, I would love it if you did that. And check out some of my other videos that are popping up here. And I hope you guys stay safe, stay happy, and we'll see you again in the Squatch Den.